Hi reception class, this week's story is called Dog Baby and it's one of my favourite stories. Long ago, when we were little, me and Chrissy did something bad. We said we were going to Annie's house to play, but we didn't. I wonder where they went instead. We went fishing all by ourselves, which wasn't allowed. Chrissy said there was a magic pond in Bluebell Woods. It was only ever there in spring. When it rained, it made a huge puddle in the dell and pond creatures came. We could fish for newts, she said. I won't tell if you won't. So we went. I wonder if something bad's going to happen to them. We found the pond. It was squelchy round the edge. The bluebell squeaked under our boots. We fished and fished, but we didn't catch a newt. We caught something much better. We caught a bog baby. I wonder what a bog baby is. He was the size of a frog, only round and blue. He had boggly eyes and a spiky tail, and I do remember he had ears like a mouse. He came swinging through the flower stalks and jumped into the water. He floated up and down on his back and sucked his toes. How strange. That's when I fished him out. He didn't struggle. He sat in my hand and looked surprised. He was as soft as jelly, like he had no bones. When we stroked him, he flapped his wings. They were no bigger than daisy petals. They seemed too small for him to fly. Chrissy said he might be able to fly if we blew on his wings. We blew and blew, but all we did was blow him onto the mud didn't try to escape. He just sat still with his paws over his eyes. I wonder how he's feeling. We put him in a jam jar, took him home and hid him in the shed. He was our bog baby. He wasn't meant to be a secret. We wanted to show mum, but we daren't. If we did, She'd know we didn't go to Annie's house. They have to be careful, don't they? They don't want to get in trouble. We made our bog baby a beautiful home in a bucket. Gravel, shells, clean water. Whenever he saw us, he jumped up and down. We picked him up and played with him. He was very ticklish. We fed him on cake crumbs. We loved our bog baby. Oh, they're taking care of him, aren't they? Our friends loved him too. We sneaked him into school in a margarine tub. When the teacher wasn't looking, he played in the sandpit and the water tray. I hope you children don't do that at school when I'm not looking. In the afternoon, he slept in his tub on a piece of damp cotton wool. Chrissy made him a collar and lead and we took him for walks in the field. That's a bit like having a puppy, isn't it? Once a crow nearly ate him, but we scared it away just in time. That was lucky. We took, we took great care of our bog baby. At least, we tried, but he got sick. He didn't jump up and down anymore. He went pale and his wings drooped. He wouldn't touch his cake crumbs. We gave him all sorts, but he spat them out. We wanted to ask Mum for help, but we daren't because of Annie. They still don't want to get in trouble, do they? But the bog baby got thinner. He wouldn't walk on his lead. He hid under his shell. Can you see him? 
hiding. I don't think he's happy anymore. He wouldn't come out no matter how much we loved him. Mum found us in the shed. Chrissy wouldn't say why we were crying. We'd promised not to tell, but I blabbed. Mum wasn't angry though. When she saw who was in the bucket, she smiled and her eyes went misty. She said she hadn't seen a bog baby since she was little. <gasps> so Mum had seen a bog baby as well. Please make him better, we cried. We love him so much. I know, she said, but the bug baby is a wild thing. He doesn't belong here. He isn't meant to eat cake or walk on a lead or sleep in a tub. She picked up the bucket and we followed her out. If we really loved the bug baby, we had to do what was best for him, no matter how much it hurt us. That was real love. That's why we let him go. Putting him back in the pond, aren't they? Back where he belongs in his home. Oh, back where he belonged. Living in the wood, playing in the pond, Sleeping in the damp leaves under the moon. It looks beautiful there, doesn't it? We never saw him again. I think he grew up and had babies of his own. Last spring, my daughter found the magic pond. And guess what she saw? What do you think she saw? This is years later. When the girl had grown up. <gasps> Hundreds of bog babies swinging through the bluebells, catching flies, floating on their backs, sucking their toes. That's what she told me. And that's what I believe. Look at all the different bog babies. So many of them. See?